Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Thursday, the 23rd day of June, 2022. Thursday, still the 12th week in the year. Uh, but today is also a special solemnity that comes out of turn, in a way. Uh, it is the solemnity of the birth of St. John the Baptist. Now, it comes out of turn because this, the uh, on the official calendar, uh, the birthday of St. John the Baptist is always uh, the 24th of June. So halfway through the year, halfway through the calendar, uh, before Jesus' birthday on December the 25th. Uh, but it's always the 24th of that particular month because um, it's one day less than Jesus's. Because if you're going to be the herald, the, per uh, the precursor, the uh, the announcer of the Messiah, uh, then you uh, need to be born before he is. Uh, so he's born on the 24th as opposed to on the 25th or the 26th or any other day. So um, it just kind of works out quite nicely in that way, uh, in the way the church calculates different kinds of things. Uh, so we celebrate John the Baptist's birthday today. We also do it today um, because, like I said, it should be the 24th. Um, and the 24th this year, as we'll see tomorrow, is the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart, uh, the third of the great idea feasts that follow Easter season, Trinity, Corpus Christi, Sacred Heart. And Sacred Heart always follows on the Friday that follows Corpus Christi. This year, that Friday is the 24th of June, so John the Baptist gets bumped ahead because Jesus is better. <laughs> because John the Baptist would gladly move his days so that Jesus could be honored in the Sacred Heart. And so that's what happens um, on today. Um, so remember, uh, especially all the um, uh, friars of St. John the Baptist province, uh, which is uh, centered in Cincinnati um, and is kind of the Midwest, Midwest um, uh, uh, moving into the central part of the United States, will be coming one province next October. Uh, but remember all of those uh, St. John the Baptist province uh, today. Um, Again, the birth of the Baptist, uh, the herald, the forerunner, the precursor, all of that, the one who announces uh, that God is doing something new, the final, um, the final movement of God within human history um, as to now begin the process of bringing everything into one um, in God, in Christ. Um, and, and John is the one who heralds that. Now, again, John will herald that in a way uh, that Jesus does not necessarily deliver on. Uh, John's heralding is a tad bit extreme um, and it's, it's very forceful and aggressive, whereas Jesus comes in a little bit more gently, although no less forceful in some ways. Uh, and so uh, John, though, comes um, as the one to announce what God is doing. What is important to know is that the one who announces John, again, is, is not a man. Um, it is a woman. It is Elizabeth. Um, and that is... Um, a stress today in the gospel. Um, Zachariah can announce nothing because Zachariah has been struck mute uh, because he comes, he, he receives the message of Elizabeth uh, bearing John, you know, after being barren for so many years and being so old, supposedly, uh, that, that, that this is incredulous, that he cannot believe it. Um, and so he loses his ability to speak. Uh, so he cannot say anything about who this child is, what this child is called to be or anything. It is Elizabeth who announces that his name is John. Um, again, another woman who announces great news glad tidings in the same way that the women uh, will do the same at the resurrection of Christ. Um, again, the role of women um, in our church, the role of women within the life of salvation history, the role of women within the plan of God's um, uh, understanding and, and God's design for creation is once again emphasized and something that we need always uh, to keep foremost in our minds um, as those great people who do keep announcing to us good news, glad tidings, hope and healing in this world. Many times comes from the mouths of women um, when men cannot speak and when men actually try to speak and mess it up. Um, and so today we honor Elizabeth, Elizabeth's uh, John's mother, um, as well as Zechariah, um, but also again uh, begin to uh, ready ourselves for those many ways um, in which uh, the Messiah is announced to us, in many ways in which we seek to receive and embrace what has been announced, that it might enrich our lives uh, with hope, with glory, with wonder, amazement, and love. And may the Lord give you his peace.